we're moving yeah all right so this will be a combination vlog um i'll show you while i'm packing and i'll also be showing you the houses that we saw so let's look at how the house is right now i didn't realize how much i changed about this house until now that i'm packing for the house and i'm going to start by showing you this corner right here so this is where i stay to record the videos and you see that i have a couple of things on the wall i have this chair but it's actually the corner piece for uh seti downstairs so i'm going to be taking this back down because i'm rearranging the room and there used to be a dresser here this is what all of my games and like electronic con connection wire things are i have the bed sort of dress yes i have one pillow that's one of my boxes this is actually my roommate's box i don't know why it's inside of here and i have mostly cleared my wardrobe my boxes used to be at the very top there and i have my shoes there these are all the shoes i have this is a clean basket to be folded dirty things and then this is my bean i also have some additional things like my puppy that it's right there and then you know so i added those curtains myself these curtains are some of them are mine some of them i met here so i'm going to be swapping out things this morning so that the room will go back to itself so this is one of my workspaces i actually have another one downstairs and i'm going to show you guys right now but you just have to see it from above so if you look down there you see that i have my deck set up there so that's my second deck setup that's my other box hello <laughs> i'm still packing things here and we're back inside of the room all right so if you're watching this you probably already know that we decided to renew for a second year in barbados and that's been fantastic so far however we decided not to keep staying in the house that we are in because we in fact there are a lot of reasons there so number one my neighbor power washes every single week somebody's always cutting grass every single week and the house that they are building opposite us which funny enough is now completely done always has to have the sewage tank come every single week which means we get bombarded with very awful smells so we wanted to move to somewhere quieter and also look for a house that was cheaper because you guys were like oh my god i can't believe you pay that much i want to add a disclaimer that i don't live alone so we definitely split the bills we split the rent so i don't actually pay 2200 usd out of pocket i'm not that rich yet <laughs> so um i'm going to walk you guys through all the house hunting videos we saw way more houses this time we even got to explore places in like saint philip we went to oyston's area we checked a lot of places for houses this time because we had a couple of months to look for houses as opposed to when we first came to barbados when we had just a few weeks and then we finally found one that we loved so i want you guys to guess tell me in the comment section do you think i went for an unfurnished apartment or a furnished apartment this time i would love to see it in the comment section and we'll find out at the end of this video which one was correct we're going house hunting today we're planning to move wish us luck because barbados housing market it's not for the faint of heart. You have to go with God in order to go and get a house. So that's where we're going now. We're going to see our first house of the two that have responded to us. Wish us luck. Yay, we're living. The very first house we saw was an unfurnished house and the realtor had to drive us there but I have to admit that the house was quite spacious. I think that the furnishings and fittings were a little dated like the bathtub 
and the color of the tiles and everything but it was good for the space and everything else the only disqualifying thing was the distance there were buses coming to this area but they were scarce like one every hour or so so that led us to the second house So this house was located near Oystens. It's like a walk from the Oystens fish market. It had a lot of good things near it. It was a two bedroom. So this is supposed to be the master's bedroom, but I wasn't really feeling the place. Here is the second bedroom. But before that, let's look at the toilet. So as you can see, yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on there. I mean, I guess these things could be replaced, but I wasn't really feeling it. The bathroom felt a little crowded, did not like the tiles. So even though it had ample space in the first bedroom and the second bedroom had a really good bed. And I also like the lighting, like look outside the window, there's a lot of sunlight, which I like. Um, this was not <laughs> at the top of my list anymore. Um, the house was a good price too i believe it was i can't remember how much it was now i think about it but we're also concerned about this part where the windows look like you know if somebody wanted to break in they probably could you know we've experienced break-ins in one of the houses we had lived in the last seven years so that was a real concern i have to say the house looks so much better in photos than it did in real life but it is what it is so we're looking at the backyard one of the concerns that we had was that there was nowhere to spread clothes there was no line and our previous house had a line and here was just like where he stored things so we would have to um, buy like a dryer so if you look outside the house here, you see that we're really close to Oystens and we decided, well, that was a definite no. We told the owner immediately and we headed up to the next house. The next house was in White Hill. Interestingly, from where we were living, it said it wasn't far, but that was a lie. Google Maps was lying. After entering a van and finally getting to where the place was, the house felt like it was in the middle of nowhere. Look at that road. We walked up that hill and there's even more where that came from. Like we had been walking for a solid 10, 15 minutes and it was the only time we finally got close to the house. This is the view from the top of the house. I have to say the wires there were scary me it seemed like a new development because the house was brand new and would be the first people to live inside of the house so i guess that was good but the house was yeah i'm just going to let you see it and then you'll be the judge of it but the main concern was that there was going to be no van we would definitely 100 percent need a, a car to come to this house <laughs> Also, the house was unfurnished and the price was good too, just the location wasn't great.
that house was actually not for us but it was for my friend and we just went to take a look at it with her the price was actually quite good the only problem was that it was further than oyston so you actually drive past where we currently are to get to the house it was a quiet neighborhood the good thing is that it's quiet and there is one van from the house to town but it's also a 30 minute or so drive like if there's on an on average on any given day so that was what disqualified the house for us eventually we found a house after i took a quick trip to jamaica we came back and then we moved in so this is us on moving day everywhere is a mess but i finally got my office set up and then we're ordering some chefette and that's it so thank you guys for watching i'll see you 